guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here and you're into 3d printing photography and drones start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything have you ever wondered how much filament you're wasting on infills of visual parts and tabletops that are standing there with no actual practical use I'm going to show you a feature today that was recently released on CUDA from the version 4.12 called Lightning Infill and it promises to let you spare a lot of infill filament basically printing with no infill at all using really really light internal support let's roll the intro first and let's talk about it I promised myself to keep this video fast and uh, short. I mean, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about uh, other kinds of infill you probably know. This lightning infill is a completely new infill type. It's delivering high quality top layers using less material and maximizing your print speed. It's efficient infill position gives uh, the possibility of printing overhangs supported by arc forms as you can see here in the video of course it's not the strongest part you've ever print but it's perfect for tabletops and visual models or stuff that doesn't have to be strong and you know resistant but it's perfect if you want to show it out and uh, create very fast and, uh, and light tabletops without wasting a lot of infill and time. Before doing the video, I spent a lot of time testing this lightning infill because I wanted to be sure that the final product was something that was worth testing. And one of the first impressive prints that I've done with, the, uh, with this infill was this medieval castle or you know i'm sure you've seen this on the review of this filament link up here in the description it's a uh, magic pla by 3d jake this is totally hollow inside and there is only lightning infill i mean it basically works with um, uh i don't know an arch theory it will give you support just where it's needed to avoid overhangs to happen. This part took like one third of the time and it's not even 200 grams. It's like 25 centimeters tall. So it was printed with the Genius Pro that I have and it turned out amazingly, as you can see. I mean, there's no problems on the top layer. Top layers are perfect and this is made to stand there and be shown, so it doesn't need to be heavy. On the bigger parts, you will probably need to put your outer uh, perimeter, one or two lines uh, more than what you usually do, but the results here you can see are really, really good. I mean, I spared a lot of filament for the infill, I mean, and the part is still there, there, printed perfectly. What else probably you've seen on my one of my recent videos is this filament astronaut tall, like, how much is it, like 40 centimeters? Yeah, 40 centimeters tall. This is completely hollow. It's not base mode. Otherwise, this would, have, would not have been possible. This would not have been possible with vase mode. Lightning infill gave the exact internal supports. I like to call them that way because that's what they are. Because they're basically there just to help on overhangs. And this is totally empty. Do you imagine how this would have weight if it was full like with a 20% infill or even with a 10% infill this is I don't know 200 grams approx not more than that amazing filament by Azure by the way I mean they're coming out with beautiful silk filaments reviews coming very soon 
Then, this is a tabletop, this is a mini Alex. This is a great model that was designed by Vic De Carlo. Uh, he got the uh, 3D printing nerd uh, mascot uh, and transformed it in me. He added a beard, he added a t-shirt, he added a spool, uh, filament spool underneath his foot and he sent it out to me. This is completely hollow. This is empty. Totally empty. And it turned out good. I mean, it's there. You can paint it, you can put it there. It doesn't lose its function, even though it's pretty hollow inside. Activating this feature is nothing crazy. I mean, just go on the infill uh, pattern and select lightning and then slice your piece and see what that comes out and test it out. I mean, it's a feature that everybody should use on their tabletop because it's stupid to waste material. I told you I wanted to keep it short, so that's all from my side, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next video.